Alright, now this is the kind of the part where it starts getting interesting, because now that you have the multiple levels, and you've got some upper tier guys unlocked, you can actually kind of start mixing and matching. Ooh, cool. They might like the devil too much. Alright, that's what I like to see on the undead. Alright, what are the other guys? Let's see here. They like the devil. They like the devil. They prefer the devil over all others. Oh, and okay, so here, here's the other thing. So because all my guys have been living, the demons may not like the devil. I need to up the, the chimera. Alright. So. I guess, let's see here. For now, let's see here. We unlock new quests. Let's see what we got. Alright. We got some new furniture coming in. Some miscellaneous attacks or miscellaneous quests. Wow, the reward on that is really low. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and fill up our third floor first. Now, since we want to bump the Chimera up, we need wolves. Uh, so let's speed this up. Oh, I guess uh, before I do that, let's see here. They go this way, then this way, then this way. Okay, so want some melee guys here. So let's throw the dumbbell there so I can get a wolf. Let's get two wolves. And then I want... Let's see here. The elementals, demi-humans. Let's get some sumons up there. So we can unlock these guys. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Do I want those? Yeah. Alright. Alright, I don't want you in that room. I want you in this room. Actually, this room. Who fled? All the Sumons. What'd I tell you? What did I tell you? I have a pinch on for running in the running in the middle of the night. Alright. I want you down here. Alright, and I want you right here. Alright. Now to be on the lookout for some wolves. Ah, cool. All right, we got enough for the uh, for the other demi human, I believe it was. Yes, demi human. All right, let's go ahead and take this quest. Ghetto circus troop approaching. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the thing again. Sorry guys, I'll read it after this wave. So, <laughs> guess it doesn't matter. Um, let's see here. Demi-humans. Okay, so they're there. And I know they're long-range magic. 
So now, we can boot all these no good Sumons. Always running in the night. You can never depend on them. And I know that those guys like the cold. So we're gonna get some ice bass right here. Um, actually, do I want to... Yeah, I want, I want, I want the opposite of that, sorry. Uh, I want to move this guy to here. Yes, I know you feel cold. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, nope, this one. This one with this one. Okay. Alright, and then I want... This one... Actually, let's... Oh, cool. Now these guys are uh, the cannon equivalent for... Uh... Oh, cool. Um... Okay, so our the child in 101 grew up. So now this is what a full family looks like with everyone all grown up and everything like that. Um, this, uh, Like I said, this is the cannon equivalent. As you can see, they have 71 attack, but they have like zero, zero defense. Um, what are they, Chimera? Yeah. So like everything, their walk speed, attack speed, physical, just all defense, just, just the lowest it can be. So all they got... All they really got is uh, is damage. So if you want these guys, you have to like put them at the very end with a lot of defense behind them. Uh, I don't particularly house them very often, uh, but since I'm trying to improve them, uh, it, it, or well, improve improve my level of satis uh, well, their their interest in me. Uh, I'm actually going to house one up here on the third floor right here. Um, and then I'm going to put... Let's see here. Is that cheapy medium range? Yeah. So, oh, and then this is long range. Okay, so I want this cheapy in this room. So I can do the ice one in this one. And then we'll put ourselves another zombie right here, since they're still our best defense. Alright, now that we got our game plan, and we know who we're looking for for tenants. Let's do a quick run through. Try to... There we go. Come on. There we go. Go to the wrong room. This room. Alright, now let's make sure everything's all good with him. Alright, good. Let's adjust the rent. Okay. I, I, I kind of doubt he can pay that much, so I'm going to set it at kind of like the halfway about the... Halfway on the bar. Uh, this is basically the highest amount you can ask them for rent in terms of their job and their amenities. So the more amenities you buy, you know, you notice you'll, the higher you can charge them. Um, just because they say it rocks and they can afford it doesn't always mean that down the road she's, they're always going to be able to afford it. So if you ever find yourself scrolling up more than 50%, you probably want to stop at 50% and see if... Uh, they can actually afford that much. Uh, da, da, da. So, like, once again, yeah. So, I'm gonna stop you at 55. Alright, I want zombie, zombie, snail, fridge deer. Oh, no, I didn't want that. What was I doing? 
Sorry. Go. Uh, not in that room. This room. Zombie. Good. Now I just need a snail. Or a my home, I think is what their official names are. This room rocks. Wow, you can play a lot. And you're unemployed, so you're probably not going to be able to play a lot. For very long. Come on, snail. Where are you? Try to, I'll try my best to go as fast as I can during this moment. This is one of those lulls where you're trying to get everything all set up. Uh, I don't need an ice person. Alright, let's see. Let's throw a uh, jeweled collar in this room. Let's see if that brings up the price. Actually, let's, let's look at them and see if they don't like something in particular. to me went down because I booted that one guy. Okay, so let's see here. Do they want anything two-door fridge? I'm trying to make these guys happier. Oh, there we go, snail. Alright. Got a full house. Save. Alright, let's see here. What can you pay? Alright. So now we got a level of pretty much physical defense, physical attack. I mean, this guy's a magical attack. But, um, it's basically physical, physical, mostly physical attack thanks to the snail and magic attack on this level. So what we can do now is we can actually, oh no, zombie, stop them, my flame guy's out. Uh, so what we can do now is that you can actually kind of uh, split up uh, or determine which, where you want your group, uh, the group to uh, get attacked from. Uh, based on their weaknesses and things like that. So this this is kind of the point where you want to start paying attention to the enemy's weaknesses and everything like that. Uh, these first level guys, basically, you want to stick with magic damage with the exception of the uh, archers. Um, we don't really have... No, we have half of them. Uh, the half of... Uh, these guys... Uh, the merchant, the purple witch... Or black witch... And the monk, the uh, martial artist, they're the ones that have the magic defense. So if these guys come, I, I want to send them up to that third floor instead of uh, attacking them here. Let's do a quest real quick. Let's go ahead and knock this one out. The governor's daughter has eloped with a local thief, but it looks like they're running this way. Lovey dovey couple. Alright, so we got a first level witch and a thief. Oh, my flame guy's out again. Easy peasy. Right, we'll go ahead and jump into one more quest. The villagers have had enough. They've brand banded together, and they're coming for you. Bring it on. Hopefully my flame guy will be here this time. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, his rent was a little too high. We're gonna speed up this, because it's gonna be a long time. Actually, we'll max speed. <laughs> they didn't even harm my zombie. How much health does he have? He only lost two health. Oh, oh, oh he did drink something. Okay. <laughs> uh, they never stood a chance. Oh, cool. Oh, these are my favorite monsters. All right, I wanna, I wanna do a quick save first, though. Because we're getting into the higher levels now, so before we, we do any really difficult quests, you you always want to save Ghostbusters. Oh, uh, a group of scientists have decided to investigate the paranormal. Keep your ghost out of sight. This is three rounds, or three ways. Plasma Zealot. Alright, magic and black witches. Okay, so... I want these guys to come up here. And <laughs> of course, nobody's home. Oh boy. Boom. Retreat. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this the complicated way. Okay. Note, note to self, make sure everyone's home next time. <laughs> uh, here's a vitamin drink. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make sure everyone has the vitamin drinks. Alright. And since I have the money, let's go ahead and see if they need anything. A happy tree. Cigarette butt. Ab Master. CD player. Two door fridge, two door fridge, two door fridge. Fake wall. Wait, fake wall or fake stone wall? Fake stone wall. No cash for rent. 82 in debt. Alright, I'll bump you down to 47. Oh, uh, this is the unemployed guy. Better find a job soon. Fashionable desk. Air conditioner and smutty wallpaper. Air conditioner, smutty wallpaper, shower. Ab master. Oh, no. There we go. Lonely flower. CD player and desktop. All right, everyone should be happy now. Or at least their satisfaction should be going up. Unemployed guys still can't afford anything. That's what I'm talking about. The snails have like no defense whatsoever. Next time I see one of those snow guys, I need to boot this guy. Believer of science approaching. Close one. Almost lost a zombie. 
But now I have my fun tongues. I.e. ghosts. I love these guys. These guys are the ultimate. Um, they'll actually, these guys are going to replace all my zombies. And I'll show you why whenever one of them shows up. <laughs> 